What is up guys, it is your boy MacT here, back for another video. Today we're going to be 3D printing our own camera gimbal system. I don't know how well this is going to work, but let's get started. By the way guys, this video is more about the construction of the motor, not the motor, of the frame and stuff like that. Um, I've linked a motor controller in the description below, that's the one I'm planning on using, but it won't be in this video, so just a heads up. I may even set it up in another video. By the way guys, the files will be in the description below, so make sure you go download those and check them out. Um, if you guys make anything, send it to me, because I'm bored all the time and I want to see what you guys make. First off, we need to make some frames. For this project, I'm using 25mm by 10mm aluminium for the arms. Right now I'm making this little part, which you can see by the diagram. Uh, the full diagram will be in the description below, so make sure you guys also check that out if you want to build this. And this is a long process, after you have drilled many many holes, you want to start filing. I then drilled some mounting holes for some right angled brackets that we are going to use later. The base is also relatively simple, all I did was create a center hole and two mounting holes on each side. Next we're going to start on the larger frame. These holes will be different depending on what motor you're using and the mounting hole uh, specifications of that motor. Um, if you're using the ones I'm using, check the description again for the diagram, there'll be links there. I then cut the base to size and then drill the necessary mounting holes. In order to make the 3D prints look really nice and clean, I'm using a process called acid bathing. Bathing? Acid? It's one of those. Basically what you're doing is using acetone vapor to melt the outside of the ABS to make it look really nice and shiny. And as always, make sure to keep an eye on your 3D prints when acid bathing, because if you leave it in there too long, you can melt the whole entire plastic and it just turns into a big mush. And it's not nice. A good tip I found useful is to take the 3D printed parts out of the acid bath when they're about 80% done. 
then the rest of the smoothing happens afterwards by magic or something like that. You may need to experiment on some test pieces to see how well it's working and how long it's going to take. Typically for me about two hours and a half to about three hours is perfect. Once we have the main pieces we can start construction. I started by cutting the bolts to the right size. The next steps are pretty self-explanatory, make sure you check the description for the diagram. For the outside arms, we need to center punch some holes. And then we can remove the cover and drill those holes. We can also insert some skateboard bearings into the other arm. Next we pull it all together. Start by attaching one of the motors to the arm with four M3 screws. Next we can attach the arm to the base, making sure to sandwich a bracket in between the 3D printed part and screw it all together. Do the same thing for the other side. We can now add the base motor. Again, this is pretty self-explanatory, so just watch the video and check the diagram. After we have done this, we can put the whole thing back together. In order to get the smaller frame into the bigger frame, you may have to take off one of the arms and screw it back on later. Screw it all back together and that's it. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new today or are gonna critique me on something, which is fine. I just wanna apologize for the lack of uploads recently. It's been three weeks since my last video, uh, but I've got a good reason. I've been very busy with work and doing other kinds of stuff like that. And this project has actually taken me a lot longer than I had planned. A lot of the bolts and stuff didn't come in on time and yeah, it just took a long time. But hopefully it was worth it and you guys learned something. As always, the files will be linked in the description below, so make sure you check them out. And as always, guys, don't forget to learn, create, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.